really didn't take as long as bringing the four of these out. What's up, guys? Bruh, look at this dude. Look at his hair. <laughs> And today, welcome back to the What for Korea Mode on episode 3, and it is the final games in the month of August. This episode is a big one, so I'm going to play one match, sim one match, and the reason I'm not doing the format set of the last episode is because we are also going to do Deadline Day. Deadline Day is here, and I'm going to save all signings for Deadline Day, but not selling, because Troy Dini has had an offer for nine and a half million. So what I'm going to do is negotiate that and try to see if we can get 11 million for Dini. Then as much as he is a club legend, we'll have to see him go. Okay, they are willing to pay 11 million pounds. So Dini could be leaving, who are we again? Could be leaving Watford. So Yamma has actually, as it looks like, all an offer of nine million pounds. That's a lot, but don't know what to do. 12 seconds later. So this is hard to do. It's a lot of money. I'm gonna have to reject it because we don't have the money to replace Yamma at right back. We do have the right back to do it, but they're not as quality as Yamma. So sadly, we have to reject that. Out of all our games today, I'm gonna to play this one away against Bournemouth, and then I'm gonna sim the game against Brighton at home, and then we'll get on to the big deadline day. Bournemouth team, they've got Beg. Oh, I hope I didn't get copyright for this. Begovic and goal, and that is their back four. I can't be asked to pronounce their names. What I'm expecting at the minute, they've got Stanislas, Arta, Gosling, and Pew in the middle, looking like they're playing a 4-4-2. Which, oh, maybe they're not. They've got King uh, centre forwards led by Defoe up front. And Conaldinho, go away. The big one, the Watford team. We have Karen Ezez still in goal. We have a back four of Yamat, Prodel, Romagnoli, and Holobas. Two CDMs today, Decore and Shalabar. We're not changing up much. The three attacking mids, Amrabat, Perea, and Ricarlison. And leading the line, they're Hatrick here at Andre Grace. An unchanged side. You look at the bend, also unchanged, except for the fact that we do not have Dini on it, we have Okaka because Dini is leaving. And we are off the second game of the season on the back of beating Liverpool 5-3. Perea, let's go look for a brilliant ball over the top two. Amrabat! Oh, what a finish from Amrabat, who has been so good so far. A brilliant volley after a brilliant ball, and Watford's season starts even better. Look at this, Perea's been brilliant. What a ball over, poor defending from Daniels, and Amrabat can just slot it home. Norden Amrabat, the Moroccan Messi's first goal of the season, but he's already on three assists. What a start for Watford. Oh, Defoe, straight away. Oh, and from kickoff, we fell asleep completely in Bournemouth. Suddenly a level, look at it, just running through, and I don't know what Holobas is doing, but Prodol falls asleep and allows a simple shot from Defoe. And literally three minutes later, we're pegged back at one all. Amrabat, big tackle to Corey. Finds a nice one to Perea, does a nice turn and doing exactly what the tactic was last week. And this time, great turn. It's going to hit it from distance and Begovic holds onto it nicely. Prodol wins the header. And Perea. It's another foul. Gray flicks it up in the air. Perea. Oh, and he's used his head. That's just a nice left footed volley. Hold him. King. Stanislas Arta hits it. And Cameron Nezes, who was poor last game, holds onto it firmly. But throws it out poorly. That's all my fault there. Harry Arter now, what's he going to do? Looks up, finds King, King, cow, he's offside, we've got really lucky there. Oh no, I didn't even mean that, Karen has found Josh King perfectly, and Jesus, we've been let off there, haven't we? Another poor throw out from Karen Ezes. it's it's bombardments of attacks so far, Defoe, Stanislas always has the pace on Holobas, gets the ball in at the back post, and Yamat do it, that is why we kept him, beating him in the air, and Gray was isolated up top. Corey does nice. Plays it off. Andre Gray hits it and Begovic makes a good save. Well, it's half time here at the Vitality Stadium. Uh, we're drawing 1 0 with Bournemouth as it stands. I'll have a quick look at the match stats. I think we played well. Stats are quite even. In my opinion, yeah, it probably deserves to be a draw at the minute. Away against Bournemouth, I think we should be winning because I think we can generally get Europa League this year if we play our cards right. Come off the back of a win at Liverpool, we're going to go out this second half, the mentality we can win, we're going to beat Bournemouth. Fair, we're having a good start to league and I'm not even finished with my transfer business. I'm leaving it all to the end of this episode at deadline day. A lot of transfer business, make sure you're ready for that. Defoe, oh, lovely fake shot. Sends it over to Stanislas. Stanislas, oh, and he sent him on a mission and what a block from Holobas. Comes out, Stanislas, poor from Prodel. Played it across, that's a free stroke for Pew. And he hits the side net in, and I thought that was in. First change of the game has been made by Bournemouth. Stanislas, I didn't see him come on for. Made way for Jordan Ayew, that could be a deadly sub. Oh, and it's brilliantly free for King and Karen. That's this with a big save and the rebound is put in. And Bournemouth take the lead and we, I can't believe it. They've took the lead and Josh King with his second of the game. 
Two changes being made. Akaka's going to join Grey Up Tox. He's getting isolated. We've changed formation two, and Cleverly is going to come on. Sadly, for the Moroccan Messi, he can play at centre attacking mid, but I do trust Perea a bit more. Which means Servi, our new signing, won't really get the game this today. Akaka, his first touch in Premier League football under me. Pulled into Grey. Grey looks up, gets to the cross, and foul for Akaka! Can he get the shot away? It's a poor shot, and I don't know why I didn't just shoot with Grey, to be honest. Final change of the game's been made, it looks like, for both sides, as Pew is going to make way for Fraser there. And what we're doing is we're taking Pereira off straight swap for Servi. We're going to try him at centre attack in mid. But at this rate, we really need deadline day to come to get these new signings. Harriata finds Jordan. Now he puts it in nicely for King, who's hit the post. What a chance. Defoe is never going to pass up that opportunity. Bournemouth score the guard to go 3 1 up and most likely win this game, and it's out of our grasp now. Daniels make away for Nathan Ake as Bournemouth make their final substitute. Corre intercepts. Nice. Cleverly. Can we get at least a consolation here as Holobas is going to send it through to Roman Nolly. He's up the pitch. We're on all-out attack right now. 3-1 down. Might as well go for it. Roman Nolly is a poor ball in. Okaka's head out. Done nothing. And Akake. Akake. <laughs> Ake. Sorry, clears it out. Cleverly. That's, again, a very poor pass. Find Gosling. And that's the full-time whistle. Watford have lost their first game this season. It comes at Vitality Stadium. And every time we got the ball... Players were just hunted down like dogs, and I think that's the reason we lost. We need these new signings to come in. We need creative signings. Hell, oh, we're having a good start to league, and I'm not even finished with my transfer business. First bit of news, Troy Deeney has been sold for 11 million to Everton. Goodbye, my lover. Goodbye, my friend. An offer for Christian Cabaselli. They've offered 6.2 million, and it's not much over what he's worth. I'm going to reject it. We're going to keep Cabaselli at only the age of 26. He is a good backup centre back. 33 year old Holobas. So that's an offer for 3.1 million. So if we delegate this, we're going to start the offer at 4.5 million, but don't sell him for any less than 2.8 million. I didn't mean that. It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. Oh, fuck. I meant 3.8 million. Wow, you saw what I've just done. Holobas is clearly going to go. So instead of accepting 3.1, I've basically said, here you go, have him for 2.8. Wow, we're in need of a left back now, aren't we? Oh, luckily for us, for some reason, they couldn't agree to 3.1 million when they could have offered less than that. We've had a loan offer from Jerome Sinclair from Grimsby Town, and we are going to accept this offer. That's the team we're taking on Brian with. And goal character. You can see it right there. There's no actual changes to the side. We're keeping Ricardo Sanchez Servi because his form is going up and Servi isn't doing anything. We might as well watch this out. Chelsea lead Neverton early on. That's a bit of a surprise. But Ma March is injured for Brighton. I don't mean harsh. That's a good thing. The Decore puts us 1 0 up. Rob Nolly also needs to be careful now. He's on the yellow card. But so is Glenn Murray for them. Half time and Watson against his former team equalises straight away. But Perea puts us 2 1 up. I can't believe Watson has scored against us. And 3 1, DeCorey has 2. Didn't see that one coming. Proper makes it 3 2. Pressure at the end of the game. But the whistle blows. What for the beat Brighton 3 2. We, out of our first three games, have won two of them. By the transfer offer for Capacelli. And he offers a 6 million, and I'm going to reject that just like I did for Swansea. And also, Jerome Sinclair has been loaned out. The striker hopefully gets some good experience to Grimsby Town. 20 million offer for Perea. See, 20 million would do nicely, but. Considering his age and how he can, he's just, he's just probably our best player, I'm not doing that. Cabal's return from injury, and also there's an offer for Britos, so I don't have any proper, I don't really want to use him, we are going to delegate, start the offer at 3.5 million, but don't sign him for anything less than 3 million, so I'll take 3 million for a 30 odd year old Britos. Deadline days here, well, there has been an agreement from Wolves to pay 3.5 million for Britos. Yes, I do accept that. That is pretty good for a 30 odd year old. And the first job for us is we need a new backup keeper. We're going to try to sign Thomas Starkosha, 22 74 rated. We could have got a better younger keeper, but I think he'll do the job. We're going to submit 6 million to see if that does the job. 5.8 with a salon clause of 5%. Yeah, that's not too much. 800 grand for a football team is not actually too much. We're onto the salary. We've made it this far. And how, if we offer him 30 grand, it doesn't take us down too much. But knowing how they like to storm out, we're offering 35 grand a week. Hopefully, he doesn't storm out on this one. We are willing to make a few of 28 grand, but signing bonus of that, and that doesn't affect that lot better for our wage overall. We have signed Thomas. Ah, oh, I don't know his name. We'll get to him at the end. We're now from 15 million for fullback Jose Gaiax. He is an upgrade. They want 19 million. Is that too much? Counter offer it for 18 million. It's not too much different, and they've got a deal. He will be a great fullback for someone who could be leaving, but we want to leave. The wage takes us down to 10 million. And there's, ooh, let's let's think about this. There's no way they're going to accept this. No signing bonus. 
but 30 grand a week. Okay, he has no interest in joining the club. We're going for Lukaku. It's Jordan Lukaku. You were fooled. <laughs> Gonna just offer his valuation 9 million because I don't actually have a problem about it. Want Again, that's cheap in the last one. Lukaku, let's negotiate with him. Oh, do you know, all the lighting in this room actually is making me sweat a lot, man. That's a lot of money, but we're going to be left with still 16 million, which will do me. So we have signed Jordan Lukaku. He is our new fullback. That is a good signing. Two hours later. Good offer on Kabul. I highly doubt they're going to accept it. Plus cash. Do you know what? 12 million though, plus the cash. We, we negotiate this. Kabul in 10 million, I feel like should do. 10.7 million, that will do, but can we afford his wage? A lot of money, 60 grand a week. Hopefully, he accepts that. Yep, he's happy with it. Kim Pembe has officially joined, but the only problem with that is, we have, a, we have a very good player award to bring in. We might have to wait till January. If not, we're gonna have to wait till next season. But as it stands, that is our business done until January at least. Can confirm Britos has agreed to join Wolverhampton Wanderers in the Championship and that'll do us nicely, we're getting more money, we're now literally just selling and saving up for January. That is the end of deadline day, we didn't sell who we wanted but we got the main, nor near enough all the signings we wanted. Well there's only one real change to the team, we are probably going to start Lukaku, he'll be our main guy, Halibos in the bench, but here we go, Strakosha and Kim Pembe make the bench and no doubt at some point they will become our number one players. This has been the end of the episode 3, it's been a deadline day special. We have done alright this we've done alright signing wise this episode. Maybe not the players I wanted exactly. Let's have a look at what we're competing for. The Premier League table after three games are not top like last episode, but we are third and one point off top. Pretty successful start, in my opinion. If you haven't enjoyed, drop a like and hit subscribe for a new round here. Next episode, business starts. It's just non-stop match after match. Thanks for watching. See ya.